In this video, we will present an overview of Nutrade software and its main features. We will start by creating a food label for a new recipe. I can select the New Recipe menu item or click the Add New Recipe button on the main screen. I enter the name of the recipe, in this case Special Cookies, and I can categorize the recipe by selecting a category from the list. To enter an ingredient, I simply type in the first letters and select from the list. As you can see, there is a big variety of wheat flours to choose from. Following, I enter the weight and continue to the next ingredient, brown sugar. I can choose to enter the weight in grams or kilograms. For the next ingredient, I type in oil and add an asterisk to search in order to choose from the types of oil. There are many types of oil to choose from in our database. I choose coconut oil. Since it is liquid, I can enter the volume in liters or milliliters. My next ingredient is 40 milliliter of fresh orange juice. Now my recipe is almost finished and I can add the water loss. I click the calc button and select the most similar product from the list of typical products. In this case, I select the butter cookies. And as you can see, the water loss is calculated. I have an option to add the portion name and weight. I am now ready to view the label. I select the standard label and check the Show RI checkbox. And here is my fully compliant label, including ingredient declaration with allergens in bold. To add the percentage of the orange juice, which may be mandatory in some countries, I go back to the recipe and click the symbol next to the orange juice. It now appears on the label. Next, we will demonstrate how to add a sub-recipe. I open the yeast dough recipe I've already created. You can see the recipe here. And click the Make Ingredient button. Now you can see that the recipe became a sub-recipe. All I need to do now is to add it to my recipe, just like a regular ingredient. As you can see, the yeast dough has a special color and the add sign to show that this is my own personal ingredient. After I enter the weight, a blue pen appears to the left. This pen is a shortcut to the sub-recipe. Let's view the label now. You can see the ingredients of the sub-recipe were added to the ingredient declaration. Next, I will show how to add a customer ingredient. Although New Trade has a wide variety of ingredients, sometimes you may need to add a special ingredient of your own. I click on the My Ingredients menu and click on the Add Ingredient button. In this case, I am adding special rye flour. I type in the energy, carbohydrates, protein, and other nutritional values, and when I click the Save button, I can select the relevant allergens. I can also select an allergen that may be contained by clicking twice, like sesame in this case. Now let's go back to my recipe and add this new ingredient. I type in this name normally. As you can see, it is also marked with an add sign in a special color. I enter 50 grams of this rye flour. Now let's review the extended label. You can see the rye flour was added, and also the line may contain sesame. Now I will show you how easy it is to create your label in another language. I select the standard label, but this time I choose French. And voila! The whole label is translated to French, including the ingredients and allergens. You can easily do the same for other languages. And now we'll review the label in the American Standard. As you can see, the label data is according to the FDA regulations. Next, we will view some very useful reports. The first is the recipe report. It gives a breakdown of all the recipe ingredients 
and you can choose to export it to Word or print it. The second report is a pricing report. It shows the cost of the entire recipe and also the cost per 100 grams or by portion. The next report is a values report that shows a detailed view of the nutritional values of all your recipe ingredients and also shows the weights of the ingredients after water loss. Now I will demonstrate how to export your recipes and label data to an Excel sheet or CSV file. These files are compatible with common label design softwares. I go to my recipe screen and scroll all the way to the bottom. I choose to export my recipes or my label data. I can also select the file type and the desired language for the exported data. This is very useful when working with an external label design software. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.